Hey everyone, Devon Energy reported second quarter earnings results. So in this video, I'm going to review the big picture items from those financial results. I'm also going to update my recommendation of Devon Energy stock. This one, I have an interesting recommendation for Devon Energy. I think it's unique to this one stock alone in that my recommendation for Devon Energy stock was that you can buy it so long as you don't own any other oil or gas stocks. So Devon Energy, I had recommended as a buy only if you don't own any other oil and energy stocks. I think this is the only stock I have a recommendation like that on. And I'll go into the details of why I have framed my recommendation of Devon Energy stock in that way. So let's get right into it. So total revenue came in at 3.4 billion. This was down from 5.6 billion in the second quarter last year and earnings per share fell to $1.07 down from $2.93 year over year. And so here's the start of why I have Devon Energy recommended the way I do. And it's because its financial results are strongly correlated to oil prices. So when oil prices are higher, Devon Energy will experience higher revenue and higher earnings per share. And when they're lower, they will experience lower revenue and lower earnings per share. So you're very correlated and exposed to changing oil prices. And so the reason I recommend this being, if you're going to invest in oil, in any oil and energy stock, if this is the one you're investing in, don't invest in any other ones because it's the benefit from investing in this stock gets diluted if you're also invested in other oil and gas stocks because so let's uh, for per, for individuals typically every month you're spending money on fueling your vehicle right so if you invest in Devon Energy stock you give yourself some diversification some decrease in the fluctuation of oil prices right so if gas prices if oil prices go up you're gonna pay more at the pump but at the same time, Devon Energy will perform better revenue and profits. And so your stock price and your dividends will likely increase from that side. But then you'll pay more at the pump. But let's say oil prices come down, Devon Energy will perform worse, but then you'll be paying less at the pump. So it's a way to diversify the risk from changing oil prices from your personal finances by investing in Devon Energy stock. But if you have more than one oil stock, it it dilutes that by diversification effect because you're getting it from the other stock as well. That's why I say only go into this one if you don't have others. So oil production for Devon Energy increased by 8% from the second quarter last year. And you can still see despite the increase in production, total revenue and earnings went down. And that's because oil prices were significantly lower second quarter this year compared to second quarter last year. Cash flow from operations, which is a which is a critical number if you're investing in Devon Energy stock for the dividend, which, which I imagine many of you are. Cash flow from operations is a critical number. I'm going to talk more about this a little bit later in the video, so keep a close eye on this one. It fell to 1.4 billion, down from 2.7 billion. And this has significant implications for Devon Energy's dividend, which I'm going to talk in more detail about. Speaking of Devon Energy's dividend, they announced a fixed plus variable dividend of 49 cents uh, for investors as of right now and I think this payout is going to happen on September so a decrease in the overall payout from Devon Energy so let me talk about the variable dividend policy okay so Devon Energy is not the only company that has a variable dividend policy but most companies do not have a variable dividend policy right a variable dividend policy just means that the dividend payment is going to change and that change is going to depend on something in the company's performance whether it be earnings per share whether it be cash flow whatever it might be so for Devon Energy their policy is that Devon may pay a variable dividend of up to 50% of its excess cash flow 
each quarter's excess cash flow is computed as adjusted cash flow, less capital expenditures, and the fixed in it. And they uh, actually have the calculation here laid out for us. So remember that operating cash flow figure that I told you was very critical? That's where the company starts with operating cash flow, 1.4 billion. And then they, they include the changes in assets and liabilities of 140 million, which brings their adjusted cash flow to 1.545 billion. And they subtract capital expenditures of 1 billion, which left the company with 509 million of adjusted free cash flow. But they also, they pay a fixed quarterly dividend, right? Their entire dividend is not variable. They have a fixed plus variable portion. So the fixed dividend was 128 million and that left the company with excess free cash flow of 381 million so at this point the board of directors has discretion where they can say we're going to use up to 50 percent of that to pay out the dividend or they could choose a lower amount right remember it's up to 50 percent it's not always 50 percent so this quarter the board of directors decided for a 50 percent payout it won't always be the same, but this quarter they decided 50%. So their total variable dividend turned out to be a total of 186 million, which if they sh spread it out between all of the shares outstanding, came out to be the dividend payout that they announced in the release here. So I thought that was interesting. I like that they give you this transparency in how they calculate their dividend payout. And I know many of you are interested in Devon Energy because of the dividend, because the dividend can get very, very high during good times. And so now you have an idea, you have insight into what will make Devon Energy's dividend increase. And it starts with the operating cash flow. That's the primary factor that will boost Devon Energy's dividend. That's why every quarter, when I look at Devon Energy, when I'm doing this earnings review, I will report on the cash flow from operations, which in this quarter was down to 1.4 billion from 2.7 billion. All right, so to answer the question about the recommendation, I'm keeping it the same. If you don't own any other oil or gas or stocks in that area, in that industry, Devon Energy stock can be a buy for you because not only does the company you know, generate the reasonable earnings and revenue and cash flow, but it also gives you some uh, insurance against rising gas prices in your personal finances. All right, but that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.